Fallout 4 is a game rated M by the ESRB. Hello and welcome back to more Steven Plays Fallout 4. On the last episode, we uh, searched through our old neighborhood. Um, there may be a few more places that we want to hit up and, and look through, but for the most part, I think we kind of got it. Um, we also learned about the workshop, which is really exciting. And um, I was also ch uh, checking out between episodes my, uh, my perks, seeing uh, what that exactly entailed. Etc. I also was curious about waiting because you've always been able to pass time in previous games and you couldn't uh, From what I could could see but I found out how I wanted to quickly point out because last episode I was confused about where the rads were and uh, I actually found out They're there not on the screen But on the like a little to the right under my thumb you see that little meter there that says rads That is the meter a little harder to read not exactly accurate, but at least now I know now, if we want to wait, because we want to pass time, if you'll notice right now, it says it's 6.23 p.m. In my opinion, it's going to start getting late, and uh, that could be problematic. I don't really <laughs> I don't really want to travel at night. Uh, we need to be heading over to Concord, so what I'm going to do, since it's 6.23, is uh, I'm actually going to sit in a chair, because that's apparently how you do this. You sit in a chair, and once you're sitting, you press Y. And now we can decide how long we want to wait for, so... Uh, I say we wait for 13 hours until it's 7.30 in the morning. So we're actually going to chill here. Um, we should be okay. Uh, there haven't really been any bad guys around or anything like that. Now, if we had a bed, we could sleep, and that would be preferable. Um, because I believe that would restore our health. But, beggars can't be choosers. So now, it's, uh, it's early in the morning. And, uh, as I said before, I would rather... I'd rather get started early in the day, so I, I don't run the risk of it getting dark. Um, don't really like to, to look around in the dark. Hey man, how you doing? I'm afraid I won't be able to repave the driveway anytime soon. And for the record, now this is our home, because that's why he's out front. Just want to make sure I don't miss anything. Did I go in this one? I feel like I did. I think I've double-checked... Actually, no, I don't think I was in this one. This one doesn't look familiar. Okay, well, I'll double check this real quick, and then we're going to be on our way to, uh... On our way to Concord. You have a mirror? <laughs> you have a toilet that has seen, uh, better days, I'll say that. Desk, filing cabinet. A toaster. What is up with all these people putting toasters in their dressers? It seems so odd. Why would you want to have toast while you're... <laughs> you're getting ready? We got a, a lamp. Okay, so there's nothing in- nothing in this house, really. Uh, looks to me like there's a few other houses maybe that we could check. Also, I didn't even bother to look in the mailboxes. I guess there could have been something in there, although I sort of doubt it. Um, it should be noted, but I- There's a good chance I won't get every single little thing. I- I- I, I may miss- OH SHOOT! What the piss? Take that. God, scared the crap out of me. There's more in here. Gotcha. Okay, so it looks like there's a little infestation here. Um, let's just be careful. Let's just be careful. And like I said before, I probably won't be getting, you know, every little thing. Now, once we move uh, to the format where I'm doing, um, you know, one at a time. Nuka Cherry, oh hey. Yum yum deviled eggs. Those look expired and gross. But I might take them anyway. Um, once we move to the one at the time format, which is going to happen in just, you know, another day or so, uh, it's a lot easier for, for commenters to be like, hey, I think you missed something. And then usually I haven't gone all that far, and then I can turn around and go get it. That happened a lot in Skyrim, because sometimes I miss things, since, you know, I am commentating at the same time. Sometimes things just pass me by. So uh, it's really, really nice to, to have that available to me, to you know, for the commenters to say, hey, I think I saw something. Uh, why don't you go back and check it out? Got it. We used a bobby pin to get a bobby pin. Of course, there's also a cream dress here, which uh, has low weight uh, and has high value. We can try and, and sell all this stuff and get some money early on in the game that could help us buy supplies. Might be nice. Uh, nothing... Nothing else here that I see. Alright. It was kind of weird to open that and just get a bobby pin out of it, but whatever. Uh, we checked this. Oh, wait, what's this? We already have a screwdriver. I think we need a screwdriver. I think you actually have to have a screwdriver with you in order to pick locks. 
so I was just picking up a screwdriver to grab one when we were walking out of the vault. But I think that was probably a good idea. I think we actually needed to do that, so... That was a good idea. Glad I... <laughs> I, I would give myself a pat on the back and say I had the, the forethought to do that, but I was just picking up random crap, so I can't really congratulate myself. There's only been roaches in one place so far, and that's the first... First time we've actually been hit since getting out of the, uh, out of the vault. A kitchen scale... That... That, uh, refrigerator has looked better, I'm sure. Looked a lot better when you got it from the Sears and Roebuck catalog. Now, why would you have bottle caps in the dryer? Something in here, too. A table knife! Now, that I'm curious about. Is that- is that a random piece of junk? Or is that... Table knife. Yeah, okay, that's random junk. I was like, is that a weapon? Seems like an odd weapon, but it could be. Hey, you don't know. Medex. Yeah, I'll take that. Anything down there? It looks... Looks like cigarettes, but no, it's just part of the ground. Um... Clean striped suit. I could be good-looking, man. Giddy up buttercup. It's weird that a, uh, a poster would have survived. That's a little odd. Alright. Um... Oh, hello. A makeshift bomb. Well, that was a little concerning. A ledger terminal. Let's see if we can unlock this. This is going to be the first time that we've had to get through... Um, ...one of these... ...terminal, uh, hacking things. There's lockpicking, yes, and that's for doors. But for terminals, you need science. Hacking. Select a potential password with the left stick. Press A to enter it. If your chosen password is incorrect, the number of letters that match the terminal's password, both letter and position, will be displayed on screen. So basically what we have to do is we have to pick one of these random things. You get four attempts. And then I think it, it generally they lock up forever. I don't know if there's a way to get back into them. So we just have to choose one. We could get lucky and just get the get it right on the first, on the first try. Uh, so we'll go with term. Likeness zero, which means that there are no letters or, um, or the placement of any of those is right. So, that means that we can automatically say that sewn can't be it, because sewn has an E in the same spot, so it cannot possibly be sewn. Um, it could be something else, though. It could be... Could it be what? It could be what? None of those letters are the same. Likeness is zero, so it can't be any of those. Okay, um... Well... Uh... Let's do... Let's do something completely different here. How about... Body? Yeah, body. That's got completely different letters for one, so that should help. Um, but it'll also mean... Um, they- they would be in completely different spots, so let's try this. Likeness 1. And we need have one attempt remaining. Wow, okay, um... So, one of these... ...is right. One that we haven't tried. And likeness is- is 1, which means... ...any of those things... ...could be... ...correct. Any of those letters could be in the right spot. Unfortunately, um... That doesn't help us a lot, because it could be duty, because it could be the Y. It could be moon, because it could be the O. So we're just gonna have to kind of take a guess. It could be tour. Um... Or post. Yeah, this, uh, this actually sucks. I'm just gonna have to take a guess here. Um... For astronomy's sake, I'm gonna say it's moon. I'm through. Well, that was a good guess, I suppose. Sanctuary Hills. DePietro. Totally high strung and needs to relax. I keep telling him that, offering to help, but so far, no dice. By the looks of the guy, he's self-medicating with pie. This guy is super creepy. He's actually keeping tabs on everyone in the neighborhood. What a weirdo. Baker. My favorite tinfoil hat wearing nut job. Good for seven ampules of day tripper a week. Guess he's a one a day kind of guy. Whatever helps the man groove. Let's see Rosa. Still trying to get her some buff out. Didn't expect the rationing to affect this, but it is what it is. Oh, wait. He's a drug dealer. Oh. 
Oh, he wants something called Psycho. I'm not sure this stuff even exists. And if it does, do I really want this Neanderthal using it? Guess it depends on how much he's willing to spend. I'll put some feelers out to my army connection, see where that goes. So this guy was supplying drugs to the neighborhood. This guy lived like next door. Never even, never even knew. Russell. They still owe me for that last Excel delivery. Occurred to me. Was it even for them? Because so help me God, if I find out they're juicing up those dogs, we're gonna have words about more than money. But we're probably beyond words anyway. I know they have a floor safe in there. I've seen it. Master bedroom under the dresser. Can't be that tough to crack. So that's helpful. There is a there is a floor safe under a dresser in the master bedroom of the Russell's home. And I don't know who the Russell's are, but if we can figure out where their home is, we can find a safe. See, that's what that's what you get for hacking terminals and learning stuff. Concord. O'Keefe. Still good for a couple hits of uh, Daddy-O a week. Pretentious pseudo-intellectual asshole, but his money's good. Williams. Wants Medex. As much as I can get. Hasn't told me why. Not really my business. Guessing there's some sort of long-term pain management going on. Disease? Keep in mind, this is a Concord, so this isn't even... We haven't even gone here yet. Anders. Kids are usually a no-go, but this girl's got style and she's... Not interested in getting tweaked. Ordered 20 blood packs, some Halloween stun or something. Or hell, maybe she's really a vampire. What do I care? She's got her daddy's money. We're learning a little bit about some characters that we're probably going to run into. And in, in Boston, Isaacs. Some student at CIT wants a day tripper, XL, and an entire pallet. Yes, pallet of Mentats. Not sure if he's doing crazy experiments, dealing to the other eggheads, or on the verge of a nervous breakdown. Don't care, so as long as the money's good. Ward. Young married couple, good for a couple day tripper per week. Easy order, cool people, no brainer. McDermott. Uh, cop, long, long time buff out customer, running into supply problems. We've had a good thing for years, I'd hate to end it now. And I don't exactly want to risk him getting all noble and law abiding if he can't get what he wants. That would end very badly for me. Sapolsky. The old lady was upped, has upped her daddy order. Weird, but profitable. Once again, I love the lore. I love it so much because this is all going to tie into those people in some way. Malcolm. Potential new customer in Charleston. Once MedEx seems uh, oddly desperate. Might be a cop trying too hard. Need to move slowly. Also, it just occurred to me. <laughs> all of these people are dead. I've been, I've been completely approaching this as if it's still 2077. It's not. It's 2287. It's been over 200 years. Everyone in this computer is dead. Probably. Underwear model from Braintree. Beautiful, intelligent, totally weird. All she's ever wanted is stim packs. 10 plus per week. Her imagination continues to run wild. So we've checked out everyone, and I got some really information, uh, really good information. I need to find the Russell's home. I got a flask. If I can find the Russell's home, um, then I can see if I can get to the floor safe that's apparently... Uh, underneath there, the dresser in the master bedroom. That's what I read. Also, there's a safe here. It would be helpful to get this sucker open. Nice. There we go. More rounds. Another pistol. Tell me more rounds. Pre-war money. A silver pocket watch. Getting all sorts of great stuff. I'm gonna end up leveling up just from searching through things. And you know what? I'm fine with that. All right. Uh, I don't know where the Russells live. But that's helpful. Hawthorne. So let's, uh, let's just double check. I'm assuming that... No, you don't. Where are you? Gotcha. Oh, you flew up into me to give me a hug. Oh, creepy weirdo. Um, I'm assuming that Bethesda would be nice and not take... Not, like, remove the, um... The mailbox from in front of the Russell's home. Cooking station. Doggone it. You hit me before I had a chance to shoot you, you dirtbag. Getting closer to level two, though. Uh, let's take a look at what we can do here. We can make... Oh, okay. So we can actually make better stuff. Getting some really strong... Uh, really strong Skyrim feels right now. So let's see if we can make some baked bloat fly. And to do that, we need two bloatfly meats, which we have. Okay, sure. Cook. Increased radiation resistance. And that's what it does. So, let's exit the station. 
very makeshift indeed. And if we check our, uh, I guess it would be under aid, baked uh, bloat fly, we actually resist rats, 20, and HP. So by cooking it, we I guess we got rid of the radiation because generally you'll see it says rads 2. That's how many rads we would get from eating it. And that's red resist, so that's that's actually really helpful. Uh, I'm not going to use it just the second because I haven't lost very much health. But all right, we have another uh, another place to go through, and then we really need to find the Russell's home. And then we're on our way to Concord, which is exciting. Empty milk bottle. I was kind of hoping to see some like crazy expired milk. Could be fun. Um, is there anything really in here? An extinguisher. I don't know if that's of any use. I kind of doubt that it still has any potency. 200 years later. Got a rat away, which is nice. We have another poster. The Adventures of Captain Cosmos. Co-starring Jangles the Moon Monkey. Oh, we love Jangles. Uh, radio, dresser, oh, some pre-war money laying there. I'll take that. We can sell that. Alright. I think we're done, and I think that this was actually... was the last one before leaving, so we're gonna run back through quick. Should be pretty good. This was, uh, this was, what, Hawthorne? Obviously, this is, um, please be on there, please be on there. Because that's gonna make my life a lot easier. I assume that they would. Is this my house? I think this is my, wait. I should be checking the mailboxes anyway. I got a silver locket in there. Not sure what that's about. But this is my house. Ten dog tags. And nothing in here. Just looking for one that says Russell. And hoping that that will lead me to, uh, to getting that safe. Because if it was that well hidden, like, I couldn't find it on my own just looking around. And then on top of that, uh, they have a thing in there. Um, in the, in the computer that you have to hack about it. It's gotta be, in my guess, this one. There's a pencil in here. I don't know where it is. All right, I'm going to, uh, I'm just going to jump ahead to when I find it. I found a safe, uh, in this house, but it's not the master bedroom. It's in the baby's room. I don't actually know if this is the one that it was, uh, referring to or not. Oh, I broke a bobby pin. Get a little overzealous there. Let's see, was it this way? Crap. Where is it? There we go. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Gold watch, another pipe pistol. Pre-war money. I don't know if this was it or not, to be honest. Um, I'm gonna look around in a few more of the houses. Finally found it. Master bedroom. Locked right tight. Right under the thing, but I can't unlock it right now. It's an advanced safe. So this is something um, that... that you guys will actually come in on, because uh, I don't have the ability to do that right now, unless I can. Check my perk chart. I actually don't know if that's something I can do right now or not. I know that lockpicking is in... Where is lock picking? Here we go. Your nimble fingers allow you to pick advanced locks. Can I go ahead and do that? Does that allow me to, to do that? Let's see if I hit. Oh, it's just oh, it's just showing me what they do. I can't actually get a perk yet. I think I have to get to level two maybe to get a perk. Oh, well, the thing is, if I could get to level two. <laughs> I could open that. Um, so, maybe I can get to level 2 real quick. And then get a perk. I'm pretty sure that's how that works. And then I could open that lock. That would actually be pretty fantastic. I just need to find... Something that would give me experience. Like, you know, a fight of some sort. Not that I really want to get into a lot of trouble now, but... I um, think I can hold my own. Let's run across the bridge and continue on to Concord. Uh, I can always cut back. What's that? There's something down there. Shotgun shell, stim pack, a short double barreled shotgun, a drifter outfit, mongrel dog meat, and a tire iron. It looked like something was down here. Oh. Didn't look like actually anything now that I get close to it. Some sort of engine or motor or something like that. There's a car. Probably, I don't know if I get radiation from just getting in the water or not. It seems like I would, but I'm not sure. Okay, um, 
so I got a I got a double barrel shotgun. Let's go ahead and uh, equip that because that seems like a good thing to do. Short double barrel shotgun. Cool. Let's put that. Uh, let's put that top. I only got seven shells. But that is swell. Uh, let's go back to my gun. Once again, ammo is going to be precious, so we're going to preserve ammo where we can. Let's see what do we find up here? Oh, hello! A duffel bag, a pipe rifle, vacuum tube, like uh, that you would put in an old CRT. Yeah, let's take uh, let's take all of these things, and hopefully, when we finally get to where we're going, things will make a little more sense. Oh, look! <laughs> oh, look! Plants, red rocket. Dog meat. Hey, boy. What are you doing out here all by yourself? Oh, my goodness. You seem like an okay guy. Okay, then. Let's stick together. Done and done, son. Face your dog and press A to begin issuing commands. I have a friend. Hey. Talk? How you doing, buddy? Fetch? <laughs> tricks? Hey, boy, you know any tricks? Maybe not. Okay, um, we leveled up to level two. Which was pretty, uh, pretty swell. And if we press Y, we can proceed with that level up. Ta-da! So now, uh, we get to choose one. Um, we can just straight up increase our special. Like, if we want our special to be higher, because right now, like, strength is one. We could make strength two. But I think I know exactly what I'm going to do, because I actually really want to go pick that lock. Uh, we can go down to locksmith and start being able to pick advanced lock. So let's go ahead and choose that. Confirm. Yes. Lock picking is something that I'm not going to regret doing. We need to be able to pick locks in the game, so advanced locks is fantastic. Now, once we get to level three, we will get another perk. And uh, if we want, we can do another rank, so we can start op opening up Expert, Master, and then also the last one, your bobby pins never break during lockpicking. Um, you'll notice that these other ones have level requirements, though, so we actually can't get this one until we get to at least level 7. So it's going to be a while. That said, now we've got a friend, and you guys know exactly what I want to do. I want to see what was in that safe. Also, apparently there's, uh, there's a frag grenade in the trash can. And a kickball. Maybe we can play kickball with the dog or something. I don't know. I took it with me anyway. Uh, so back in here. Into the back room. Now I have the ability to open you safe. Alright, this is an advanced lock. It's going to be a little harder. Or not. <laughs> Pop that sucker open. Uh, right pistol, pre-war money, and some shotgun shells. Once again, you... Uh, it definitely pays... To, to look around, to search for supplies, because we're probably, uh, we're probably doing pretty good. Honestly, we've, we've scrounged a lot. I feel like we have got the neighborhood covered. But the other cool thing about doing, uh, the episode formats like we do is if we, if we do end up missing something really important, you guys can let us know. Hey, buddy. Hey. I can tell him to stay. Over here. Can tell him to come here. And I can press B to stop issuing commands. Hey. Uh, stay, cancel, trade. I can give the dog items? Apparently the dog can somehow hold on to things. I don't know what the dog can hold on to, but apparently the dog can hold on to stuff. Come on, bud. Let's go. Keep up. Alright, so uh, we should probably check out that truck stop. That's going to be... It's going to be the big thing that I, I want to, uh, to look into right now. We got... Quite a good, good bit of ammo for the, the double barrel shotgun, which is nice because if someone gets in our way, we can take them out. And we got another power armor station here. This is like really close by to where we just were. Weapons workbench. I don't know what he's doing. Button. Push. Oh, it closes the workshop. That's kind of nice. We can maybe even use this to... I don't know. Hide. Workshop search. So this is how we we build stuff if we want to 
you know, create some things. Noted. Don't need to do that right this second, but that's something that we'll definitely be doing at some point in the, uh, in the LP. Got another stim pack. Uh, tool chest. Let's take these things. Pipe pistol, duct tape, flip lighter, fuse scalpel. Yeah, let's take all of these things. The other thing to consider is that if we have a, a place, if we have a, a place to chill, which might be this place, maybe this is the place that we'll, you know, we'll call home. If we have a place like that, then we can actually leave a lot of stuff there, which is going to be really uh, beneficial as well. Anything else? Cram. Giddy up, buttercup, back leg. What? Must have been a weird toy. Also, rat poison. Uh, hey man, you don't know. Could come in handy. Might be able to use that somewhere. Pre-war money. Boston Bugle. Interesting. Anything down there? Hot plate, coffee pot. Nothing in there. Another Boston, okay. <laughs> Got plenty of those. Ham radio. Cabinet. Let's make sure that we completely search this place. A scalpel, probably won't need that. Before we move on. Restricted area. Well, that's what I want. Pre-war money. Actually, looks like this restricted area has already been looked through. Except, there is a cap stash and, more importantly, a terminal. Let's see if there's anything uh, of interest on here. Welcome, Red Rocket employee. Business entries. New equipment installed. Took some wrangling with the head office, but we finally got all the tools we need to machine our own parts. No more having to pay for Corvega factory parts the next time they change the spec on a damn fastener. Just take one we got and trim the excess down till it fits. Rosa Restoration. That Rosa Widow in Sanctuary Hills is restoring an old classic Corvega with her son. Nice woman. Pretty. Kid seems like kind of a brat, but I guess that's the point of her doing this project with him. Anyway, she's been doing a hell of a job. I was amazed at how much her and the kid have been able to do on their own. The only reason she even came to me is because the engine is out of her depth. I'm sure we can help her out. This seems like a really nice, um, place of, uh, place of business. Safe storage. Jim, take care of these barrels before you leave tonight. Inspectors are coming first thing in the morning. Just hide them with the others. We'll figure out a longer-term solution later. Hey, if nature's going to favor us with a cave right below the shop, who am I to argue? Once again, you should always check terminals. They tell you things. October service logs. Oh, that'll be interesting, right before the bombs fell. Uh, replace the brakes in 2075 Fusion Flea Supreme. Let's check this one. Monthly service on the vault Tech van. No major issues with the vehicle, but that rep is an up of the asshole. Let's try October 14th. Began work on a late model motorcycle. Pre-atomic. What seemed to be simply a sticky throttle turned out to be a more serious issue with the cables. They're almost all completely degraded. We'll replace with platinum parts. Let's try Monday. Coolant leak in one of those new 2077 Corvega coupes. Bubble top. They don't make them like they used to. Here we go. Replace the atomic alternator in a 2073 Corvega. So we got uh, something interesting that I noticed. Um, let's log out. Why can't we log out? There we go. Uh, they said a cave below the shop. What's up with that? There's a there's apparently a cave that formed under the shop. Also, what are these cigarette cartons sell for money? A cave? Where? I mean, I'm sure it's still here. First aid kit? Yeah, I'll take that. It's gonna be our job to, uh, to find the cave. But we're gonna be doing that next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. And, uh, next episode will conclude our five-day weekend, and then at that point... We'll be doing them one at a time, just like Skyrim. It's going to be exciting. Uh, I think this was a good idea, though, because otherwise, th there's not really a whole lot of input you guys would have had in these first few episodes. I've just been kind of exploring, searching around, getting my bearings, and getting a lot of early supplies. So I think this was uh, this was a good idea. Um, but thanks for watching, and uh, you know, make sure you tune in tomorrow so you can see hopefully us finding this cave, and then onward to Concord.